welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to talk to you about what's it called? M applying movement to certain rings. Okay. So let's go through this script. We have our start, lock face player, message, go away. Then we come to this command. Now what this command, okay, firstly, this roar just makes um, a little sound, because, when I'll, I'll, I'll go, fly movement, OXFF is yourself, so if you want to apply movement to yourself, you put OX, apply movement, OXFF, and you put offset and whatever you want. It's like a message, except once you get to the one, you have that semicolon thing. Binary and binary. So, the sign binary, and you write binary. And we have the code for what we do. And your XF we finishes it. To know the, what the codes are, we have another helpful thing. And where's mine? Right, I use fire red. So I'm going to use the fire red bow one. But they're, they're different if you're walk, um, um, doing it on Ruby and Sapphire. Mm. So, um. But what 62 is makes an exclamation mark pop up in on, on top of your head. So, because it, it's your head, because it's OXFS, the roar just makes a little sound, like a pop sound. Because that only makes the exclamation mark pop up. That makes it a, a natural sound. So, then we have the pause move, which will make we have to have a pause move after and um, once we finish with a pie movement, otherwise it won't work well. Pause pause basically pauses the game. And I for two seconds I think. That means two seconds, yes. Apply movement the, a new apply movement. Three what the three is for R people number. Let me explain. I had all this open. I'm going to make this character move. What it is, is that his event number is free. So, to make him, sorry, to make him move, you put the free there. Hold on, I, do, I, I need to, I need to do something. You, you can't see that. Anyway, we need to put the free there because we want him to move. The person with the vent number free. And OX10 is to walk down. To walk down. Step down. 12 is to step left. And there was more tens. Um, pause move, release end. So let's see how this works. I'm going to save the script. Walk to. Compile it. Where, oh where is it? Wrong folder. That one. No, what am I doing? Walk to compile. Copy. Sign. Whoa. So we just paste 
stitch in there, close down these, save it, by the way you might be wondering about why the bad graphics, that was me messing around with the game, so just ignore them, so we've done that, anyway so, we reload it, Reload. Reloading the saved game. Okay, now let's run to where he is. Just speed up the game a bit. Here he is. So when we talk to him, we click him and says, "Go away." And he walks down. So you see how it worked. But the thing is, we can click him from any position, and he'll carry on moving. So, the glitch thing is, we could talk to him from there, and he walk right into you. Ah, ghost man. It's ghost dad all over again. And he'll carry on moving for the rest of his life. <laughs> the sailor man's attracted to him. Go away, I'm having a nice time with Sailor Man. No Sailor Man, he's gone. Okay, this is a glitchy thing. I, I hope you all know about Vance Map and movement permi permissions. One means you can't go there. You can't, you know, go past. The player can't go past. Whoops. Okay. So, I can't go past the trees. Correct. But the funny thing is, applying movement, using with applying movement, they can. People, you can go now across trees, if if it's a command. So I could command myself to go across the trees. But once the command is over, I'll be stuck in the trees if I haven't escaped. So as you see here, he walks into the trees. Where is he gone? This is, this is bad. I think he's been abducted by aliens. Ah! He's gone. Well, he's gone. He walked into the, the forest. And he's gone. Don't, that's the last we'll see of him. And that's all. If you didn't understand this, well, you might want to try watching another tutorial by another person. So, goodbye.